Hi everyone, my name is Deepak Lohia and today we are going to talk about Crystal Reports Editor. Crystal Reports Editor is actually used to amend the .rpt files. So it is all in one tool uh, which can be used to pull .rpt files from a folder and to modify their values like you want to change report code, you want to uh, <coughs> rename that or you want to amend the selection formula or uh, add a new formula or add parameters and then the final thing is you can actually print the files you can print in uh, pdf format or xls or in dot rpt and see how the report looks if there are like one or two reports we can easily amend it but for example you are working for an organization and you, and you receive like uh, 70 or 80 or 1000 reports which has a similar change you have to do. So it could be a very uh, monotonous task or you know very time consuming task uh, you have to go to each report and amend it. You can use this particular tool and you can amend uh, reports in bulk. So let's get started. So let's retrieve that report which is in the folder and it will we'll click on retrieve and click on yes. It is asking if we want to clear the data. So here it has retrieved the report. Here you see the there was a parameter as class that was integer then there was name which was string so it will uh, pull all the parameters which are in the reports in this uh, particular row and for each report for example there are 10 reports and it will pull like this here this is a record selection formula those who work on crystal reports they know it better if you want to add new formula so now I have rep uh, retrieved the report I want to make some changes so let's say I want to add a new formula so let's say okay so it is telling me that formula name should exist in column k and then it then the existing formula will be replaced so what it is saying for example if there is a or already a formula called as test1 then that value will get amended <coughs> or if this this formula already exists then it will get changed so if it is not if, if it doesn't exist then <coughs> a new formula will be added so let's do this you can always go here what it is saying okay so whatever you are putting put in quotes like this at the rate test this value I want and I will delete them because I am not adding a parameter right now and I will add a new parameter as uh, your name which is a string so I have to select from the drop down escape drop down it is a string <coughs> your name so I uh, when once I choose anything like that like for example if I am choosing parameter then I always have to select it over here otherwise these values will get ignored so let, let me choose add new parameter <coughs> so it is telling me that it should be date time and string which is correct I have done that so there are two things I am doing I am adding a new formula and I am adding a parameter. Let me also change a report code. So let me pour, uh, put report code as test rpt. So I am also changing the report code. So I have mentioned. So whatever changes I am making I have to check those boxes. And let me click on modify. Okay it is success. Congratulations. So let's see, let's see if the, those changes are done or not. So first I will open that in. Uh, crystal reports and see okay so parameter is added your name which is actually a string and then uh, what else I did I added a formula as well this is test 1 and the value is at the rate test <coughs> alright my changes are done and the report code is also changed you can see here test report if I go to summary info you get to see this now let me replace the old file with the new file and see what it will retrieve now so let me just paste it over here replace file now let me delete everything and retrieve again yes so now you see this new parameter has been added and now I can see the report code, code as well I hope this makes sense if you are stuck somewhere please uh, mention in comments okay one more thing that whenever you are using this automation you have to add reference to the crystal reports library which is over here references crystal reports library over here 
and this works only in crystal reports 11 r2 and if you don't have it then you can uh, check it on the uh, sap website and buy the license and uh, then work on it i hope this makes sense if this helps you then please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day